Well, we finally got the suspension system completed and installed. Let's go see how it went. The first 12 studs went really easy for me. Everything uh, worked as expected. And then I had to order some additional material. And evidently, the new stainless steel rod was much harder and more brittle than the previous rod had been. So I resorted to having to use a backer board as a crude follower in order to try and keep the studs straight as a single point threaded them. And even using this method, I still had trouble as evidenced by the scrap pile. But we did get all 16 of them made and moved on from there. We also used our Hemingway spring winder that we built to make some custom springs for the locomotive. Next, it was on to the washers. Made out of stainless steel, the washers were a real joy to make. Straightforward operation and all went well. Now let's provide a little corrosion proofing to our items and then install them. Okay, the first step to bluing my washers is to get them clean. So I pull acetone in a bucket. And we're going to squish them around, get any oil off of them. And bring them out and let them dry. Acetone will evaporate quick. All right, I put a little Brownells Oxbow Blue in a uh, jelly jar. And let's just see how this works. Let that soak for a minute. Looks like it's going to work fine. Let's go ahead and put them all in. All right, you can see that that uh, gives it a nice color. And then once they're dry, we're gonna put a little oil on them. Okay, now that they've had a few minutes to dry, I'm just gonna put a little vegetable oil in my jar. Cleaned it out with uh, acetone again. You use any kind of oil. It's just, just what uh, I had that has been on the shelf for a while. And uh, it'll soak into these and further protect them from corroding, rusting. I think these are going to turn out nice. I'm not going to wipe the oil off. I'm just going to let it soak in. And I think that'll give me the finish I'm trying to achieve. All right, it's time to reassemble the, the suspension with the final product. These springs are a little larger on one end than the other. And so you have to orient them just right so they go in the hole correctly. A little recess. You can, when you pick them up, you can feel which end is a little, a little smaller end. These washers turned out really pretty. Smell like vegetable oil. And I dropped that one. 
We'll find it in a minute. That's how it's going to work. I'm going to keep putting these together and I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, we've got the uh, suspension fully installed. The drivers are no longer rigid to the frame, but rather they're sprung and can, can move independent of each other. Feels good. Let's see how it's going to do. Oh yeah, that is nice. It's so much quieter than it was when the drivers were rigid to the frame. That's very nice. I hope you like it. Well guys, I think we're going to have a good runner one day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and hit that like button, and stick around while we finish this locomotive. See ya.